Thanks for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Kyle Warnke. A local businessman wants to bring a church to downtown Macon, but city and state laws could stand in his way. Michael Rizkala wants to bring the Archangel Michael Coptic Church to this building off of 2nd Street, but city and state codes prevent liquor sales within 300 feet of churches. The members of the Macon Bibb County Planning and Zoning Commission say they hope to reach a decision on this by October 22nd. The Bibb County Schools Audit has raised concerns for many of the board members who say underreporting of crimes is a serious problem. Now, some board members told us they are confident the superintendent will find solutions to these problems. Superintendent Dr. Romain Daliman has an open invitation from 41NBC to discuss the issues raised in this report. And we're learning more now about the deputy-involved shooting in Cochrane from over the weekend. According to the Bleckley County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to a call at a home on Oak Street to arrest 31-year-old Rasheen Wright on theft charges. The GBI is now continuing its investigation and says so far there is no sign of foul play. The Bibb County Fire Department is investigating an early Monday morning house fire on Kent Drive. Fire officials say the home belonged to a Macon police officer. The home, has sustained, the home sustained heavy damage to the master bedroom and the attic. Now, fortunately, there was no one there at the time of this fire. Witnesses say they heard what sounded like firecrackers going off in the home. Police say it was most likely the officer's ammunition. Monday, the city of Macon and Bibb County declared this week as Gear Up Week. Gear Up is a federal program aimed to get low-income students into high school and then on to college. It's, all, it, it's for all Bibb County 7th and 8th graders. The nearly $20 million program provides mentoring and extra classes to get kids ready for college. The month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The Dublin woman is doing her part to help fight the disease. Deborah Ware drives around the city in a multicolored Buick with more than 200 hand-painted names of children who are battling or who have lost their battle to cancer. You can help fight childhood cancer simply by purchasing gold ribbons and donating money. Megan citizens got their chance to voice concerns and opinions to the mayor at this month's Mayor's Night Inn. About 10 different individuals and groups met behind closed doors with the mayor in his office. Mayor Rickert tells us he talked with citizens about everything from road design to crime issues throughout the city. The mayor holds his night in on the second Monday of each month. And the city of Macon will honor those men and women who lost their lives 11 years ago today during the September 11th attacks. A special memorial will be held this morning at the Public Safety Memorial. That's on Mulberry and 2nd Street. Macon Mayor Robert Rickert, Bibb County Commissioner Sam Hart, and other officials will be attending. It's going to begin just before 10 o'clock this morning. And be sure to join us on the air for the news tonight at 6 and 11. Have a wonderful Tuesday, everybody.